A lead acid battery operates in a constant state of charge and discharge. The automotive alternator is a battery charger. It works very well if the battery is not deeply discharged. However, it is not suited to fully charge a battery that has been deeply discharged. When deeply discharged, the battery has to be charged in a certain way. The type of charging is called three-step regulated charging and consists of bulk charging, absorption charging and float charging. Whenever charging a battery, it is important to think about safety first. Explosive hydrogen gas is produced by the battery during charging. So, work in a well-ventilated area. Never allow smoking, welding or open flames in or around the area. Wear protective safety goggles and clothing. Remove any jewellery and watches. Make connections and disconnections between batteries and the charger only when the charger switch is in the off position. Read and understand the charger manufacturer's operating instructions. Determine the battery state of charge using an electronic battery analyzer. Modern battery analyzers can measure multiple vehicle applications, battery types and rating systems. Up to 80% of the battery energy capacity is replaced by the charger at the maximum allowed voltage and current amp rating. When the battery voltage reaches a preset threshold, absorption charging will commence and the current amps declines until the battery is almost fully charged. This is a regulated voltage of typically below 14 volts and usually less than 1 amp of current. This, in time, will bring the battery to 100% charge or close to it. The float charge will maintain the batteries at 100% readiness and prevent cycling during long-term inactivity. Note, some gel and AGM batteries may require special settings or charges. If you can control the charge current, limit the maximum charge current to 10% of battery capacity. This feature was brought to you by Sabat Batteries.